Okay, so I'm back. Um, I'm in the car now on my way to the delivery. Um, so as I said it before, um, there was some like a serious topic that I wanted to actually talk to you guys about. Um, as I said it, I am new to YouTube. So you guys don't know much about me and I don't have a lot of subscribers or followers or you know, people that view my channel. But I feel like this topic is extremely important that needs to be talked about and a lot of people don't talk about it especially in the black community they don't really um talk about it and i feel like it's extremely important um the most the most people the most famous people that you probably know probably deal deal with this like so um today i woke up not really in a happy mood not really in a sad mood just in a mood really like last night i went to sleep not really feeling a lot of things like i was just over it um if you guys don't follow me on snapchat i did um please do so but i did um snap like i just said i was just fed up you know and i get i got a lot of um you know messages just saying like just push through you know like a lot of people that actually genuinely care about me and i appreciate every last one of you guys who message me and just let me know like things will be better things will get better and i do believe that because i'm a firm believer in god um i know that's a touchy touchy subject but i do believe in god um and i believe i do have faith that he will make things turn around for me you know no matter what i'm going through it will always be better and you know somebody is going through worse than what i'm going through so i don't take anything for granted you know i take everything that he has given me or will give me i am very appreciative of everything but i do have my moments where i i fall in a bit of depression you know so depression is real real for me and a lot of people don't know that they look at me and they think like um not to sound cocky or anything like that but i've heard people you know literally come up to me and say like i'm so confident you know um how do why do I, how do i wear my hair like this like I, they would never be able to do it and like i give people like confidence that sometimes i don't always have you know so um yeah so today i'm just in a mood like i don't know like i can't even describe it like i did have an a bit of an argument with one of my um guy friends <clears throat> And he is an ex, so it's kind of weird because we are like, we went we went together in high school, and then like now we're like kind of cool, but it's like I don't know if we're talking on the level far as getting together or not getting together, but that's like the confusing part for me because I feel like certain people will try to tell you what they want and what they need out of you but they're not showing you what you need, you know? Like far as, I want you to be this person in a relationship, but they're not giving you anything, you know, anything to think like, okay, we're gonna be in a relationship. Like, so, I don't know, it's kind of like a back and forth thing with me and him, but it's like, for me, I'm not trying to take anything serious. like. I feel like the next relationship that I get in, I want it to be serious. I want to have a husband one day. Um, I want to build with that person, be with that person, you know, go through ups and downs with that person. I like at this point in time in my life, I don't have time for games. And I'm really exhausted of all the bullshit ass games that <sighs> these people try to play with me. Like I'm just over it. And it's like they want me to give my all and open up and be completely vulnerable to them but they're not showing me anything serious they're not showing me anything to do that one minute is like you want me the next minute is like oh no you're too much for me so what is it like you know like i'm not going to change for something that's temporary and like i haven't came across anybody in my years of living dealing with people you know as far as relationship wise that have made me be completely vulnerable but one person is one person in my life um 
that has made me completely open and vulnerable and that relationship didn't work out and I'm okay with that at this point in my life I'm okay with it didn't work out we weren't ready what we thought we were ready for we wasn't ready for and like I've moved on I don't know if he's moved on or you know but I've moved on from that situation maybe it'll happen in the future for us but we were together for some years and at this point I'm not looking back I'm look I'm not looking back to the past because I have made that a habit for myself like going back to what I know you know and I and I know it's a lot of people that can relate to that like going back to someone that you have had dealings with or just talked to or you know been in a relationship with because that's your comfort zone you know scared of start you know getting something new or you know scared of the newness of it or you know being with someone that you don't know nothing about and learning them you know I've always been the type of person that will talk to someone that I have talked to before or that I've you know known around you know just you know hanging out or whatever like that because I feel more comfortable with that person because they have they kind of know me a little bit and it's easier for me I'm not even gonna lie it's easier for me to not open up as much when it's somebody that you already know and they know a little bit about you but they don't know you know know you completely so like the type of person that I am I've I've always had like my guards up you know and it takes a lot like I'm not an easy person to just like look at me and be like okay I can get her and no like you have to work for it you can't just think that you're just going to get me and you know a lot I feel like people have this prejudgment of me like I'm this type of person and then when they get to know me they want to change me and it's like no no I'm who I am and like it took me a lot of years to get to where I am in life where I know myself and I'm not just going to settle for anything and I don't feel like I have to so at this point I'm just not going to do it okay guys I'm back um I'm sorry about that I actually um if you guys don't know I do deliveries for work so I just did a delivery um so I had to stop the um the filming but I don't even remember what I was talking about um I went on a bit of a ramble <laughs> but um everything I said was real and how I really feel like at this point um I have kind of accepted the fact that I do battle depression you know and I've grown so much throughout the years like just my mentality the things I the things I say the things I do how I look on you know life and my goals my you know everything pretty much everything I've actually grown with and I feel like I need someone that's on my level you know like I'm not, I'm tired of playing games with people I'm tired of people trying to control me I'm tired of I'm tired of it all like just know what you want go after what you want in life and if you're not here to actually better me or you know to lift me up then I don't need you in my life and that goes for just not people like being in a relationship with someone or messing with someone I'm saying that for in general like people that your friends your family you know people that you um you know socialize with or whatever like anybody that wants to be in your life they should benefit you like not far as money wise not far as anything like that but like they should better you they should they wish they should want better for you and um it shouldn't be no underlying ulterior ulterior motive like on what they the reason why they're trying to be in your life and i've dealt with a lot of people like that and i'm just tired of it like at this point i'm i am who i am and nobody's going to change that if you can't accept it then move the fuck around like i, I just don't want to do it anymore so yes um as far as the depression thing i've actually battled with for as long as i can remember like when i was younger i really didn't understand it like um i really under didn't understand like the moods i would be in or <clears throat> the sudden sadness i would feel with certain situations or whatever 
And you know, like I have a lot of family members who battle this, you know, and it may be something that they battle silently, but it's more than 10 people in my family that actually did battles this. And I feel like it's just something that needs to be talked about because it's not something that you just want to sweep underneath the rug. If you see your kids or your family member, friend, loved one, lover, whatever, going through these mood swings or going through you know ups and downs or whatever i'm sorry guys i know the camera is probably all over the place but i'm actually driving right now but if you see people going through this don't just brush it off do not you know like i have had people like you know not like a lot of people just don't understand when you go through something like ment like a mental illness like people just do not understand it and it's like i'm a very private person i'm a very secretive person so even if like i'm dealing with you on a physical level or you know being in a relationship with you it takes a lot for me to open up but if i do open up to you and i've i witnessed this a lot like if I do open up to you about my depression and my thoughts and my feelings or whatever I'm going through, or if I have a mood swing and I'm just not feeling it that day, don't take it personal. And like I've experienced a lot of people, they take it personal and they want to always, and I feel like that's kind of self-centered. Like a, a lot of people are very like selfish when it comes down to it. Like if you're dealing with someone who's like really opening up and telling you what they're going through and you want to make it about yourself i feel like it's selfish like why make it about yourself why why can't you even if you don't understand it you know understand what they're going through or you've never experienced it or witnessed it within yourself or someone else just because you haven't experienced it or you know you don't know anything about it doesn't mean that it's not real you know some people like to i know it's a lot of people that like to play play victim you know and i'm not one of them at all um i know my faults i know my wrongdoing in past relationships and you know what i need to work on i feel like everybody in life will constantly change you know their moods their feelings their outlook on things you know like even for me right now like um I feel like I'm just on a healthy journey, like a healthy mindset, a healthy eating habit, a healthy overall lifestyle. Like I no longer eat beef. I no longer eat pork. I've cut out um, eggs in my diet. I've cut out um, a lot of sweets, um, dairy. I no longer eat dairy. And it's very hard for me because I'm one of those people that love sweets and one of my favorite desserts is ice cream and like that's dairy so like i've tried the substitute versions of it and it just doesn't work for me but this is what i'm this is the journey that i'm on so do i go back to eating that way or and i feel like it starts it has to start somewhere because there's a lot of changes that i know that needs to be made in my life so i felt like okay Maybe I can start it with my eating. You know, I need some type of control over that. And, you know, like, I'm not a big girl at all. Like, I'm a very petite woman. Like, I'm only five, two and a half, three. You know, and I only weigh about 125, 130. You know, it just depends. But I'm very petite. And I've never been, like, overweight or anything like that. But I feel like there's a lot of things that I was consuming and my body that were unhealthy and it was making me sick and i just couldn't understand why it was making me sick but it was making me sick so um i read on a lot of things like i'm not the type of person that'll just try things try things try things um i like to do research first you know and i've i've tried you know reading the books on you know detoxing and you know eating healthier and all that so that's what I've been doing and like I like I said I don't eat beef or pork I don't eat I, I cut out a lot of bread so I eat like tortillas and you know things like that and like more fruits vegetables things of that nature I love fruit so that's just a big plus for me but um yeah so 
I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point. But I just want you guys to know that um, depression is real. And as of today, I feel like I'm going through one of my moments where I feel it, you know. And um, at this moment, I really don't have anyone to go to, like, to talk to, to. And, like, I know people, like, even in my family that has depression and they take medicines for it or you know they have ways to suppress it like far as drinking or smoking and I don't do either, either one of those I recently stopped drinking alcohol so I don't drink anymore and um, I've never been a smoker I have smoked before but I hate it I do not like it I don't even like the smell of it I hate cigarettes I hate weed I hate it all so that's never been my thing so for me I, I don't take medicine I hate medicine you know so it's there there's nothing that I suppress mine with I pretty much just deal with it I do a lot of prayer work um, I'm big on praying and you know believing that he will make a way no matter what and he will get me through everything that I go through so I just pray and I just you know I do a lot of meditation and praying you know but as I get older, um, you know, a lot of people have suicidal thoughts and all that when, they, when they're when they battling depression, bipolar, you know, bipolar and all those other like skits and, and all that, you know, they have a lot of suicidal thoughts and I just want, you know, you guys to know if you are battling these things or if you're going through those, those type of things, reach out to somebody, you know, don't just keep suppressing it keep suppressing it because you will eventually snap and I'm not saying like snap far as like harming someone else or you may harm yourself and you know you'll regret it at the end so just if I don't know what you guys believe in or whatever but find something that time find someone you could talk to find you know find yourself like through it all find yourself and like I feel like I honestly have found myself and I feel like can no one tell me who I am you know and I feel like that's very important even when you know we have these young girls or even girls my age or older where they're they're so lost and they, they think a man is supposed to complete them and all of that and like I just get so mad when I, you know, see certain situations with women or men or, and they're just settling or accepting things that they know is not okay. And don't get me wrong. I've been there, you know, I, I've been there and I, but I can, you know, pr I practice what I preach at the end of the day. Like I've been there, I experienced it and I don't want to go back to it. I don't want to go back to the bullshit that people will bring in your life. So at this point, point in my life even battling depression I still consider myself a loner like I'm a very I keep to myself a lot and sometimes it's not good because it's like when you're going through mental illness you need someone to talk to you need someone to go to but I just have a hard time trusting people you know like I've had situations where people will throw things back in my face that I've express to them or I open up to them about so it's like like I said before I'm a very guarded person and I'm not a very emotional person like so like even me opening up this much of myself to whoever views this it's very uncomfortable for me it's very not in, like it's not in my nature at all but I feel like it will help someone. If it, does, if it helps one person, that makes me feel better, you know? And, um, like, I'm the type of person, I don't have much to, like, I don't speak, like, I don't talk a lot, and I don't, like, mingle with a lot of people. Um, like, I'm really, really to myself, and, like, the people that I, you know really really care about and love and you know those are the only people that's around me and in my life you know and and know some parts of my life but I don't open up completely to anyone at this point but if I have something to say I'm the type of person that you will know that I have something to say 
So, um, yeah, I feel like today, I just woke up today and I was just like, I'm in a mood. Like, I, I am in a mood and I know I'm not the only one who deals with things like this. And it's like, sometimes it's not even one particular thing that's going on in your life that's bad or anything. It's just, you just have those moments. And this is one of those days where I'm just kind of in a funk. Like, and tomorrow I may wake up and it may be, I may be the happiest person in, with all the energy in the world, but today is just not the day. And maybe because I, I went to sleep, not so good, but you know, it's just, I'm just kind of fed up with things. I want things to prosper in life for me. I have a lot of goals and ambitions that I want to succeed in. And I just feel like I really need to pursue those and stop procrastinating, stop holding back and stop like holding myself back. Like I can't blame anyone else but myself. Like I've hold myself, held myself back for years and I just need to get on the ball with it. Like time waits for no one and it's just time. It's time for me to step my game up and do what I need to do. So yeah, that's, you know, that's just my situation and my, my look on life right now and how I feel. And I feel like I'm, you know, I feel like it's pretty cliche for people to be like, oh, new year, new me and all this bullshit. But I won't even say that because I've never been the type to, you know, say that or be like, yeah, at this point, I'm going to do this. And this, this, next year, I'm going to know. I've never been that, that type of person. So I feel like followers do that. You know, I'm going to start my diet next year. I'm going to do this. Cut, cut it the fuck out because by January 3rd, you're going to be still the same person doing the same shit. So, um, no, I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to show and prove my, to myself that I can do it, that I can make it. And even with this whole YouTube stuff, like, I really went out on a limb and was like, hey, like, for years I've been battling with, my, with myself, like, okay, I'm going to start YouTube. I'm going to start YouTube. I'm going to start YouTube. And I, I've told my friends. I've told my mom. I've told people like okay yeah, i'm gonna start it and this and that and it's like okay i always had an excuse i was working oh i couldn't do it you know and oh, i'm tired i don't feel like doing it oh people not gonna like me people not gonna view my videos people not gonna do this blah 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 blah. so i've held myself back like i feel like if i would have started this years ago maybe a year ago I, and there's no telling where i would be at this point so there's no more hesitating for me there's no more pre procrastinating if i think it i'm going to do it and that's just my goal and that's just my motivation that i have for myself and that's just it for me like i'm not trying to rush into any relationships right now like a relationship will be cool i've been sing literally i've been single for five years and yes i have dated and talked to people you know in between time but i'm single for a reason you know i haven't seen anything haven't got anything serious um, I haven't came across anybody that was really, I feel like, for me within that time. I got, like I said, I was with my my ex for literally years. So it was, it took me a lot, a long time for me to actually just get over that and you know just be completely free of that. So right now, I feel like I, yes, I'm ready for a relationship, and then no, I'm not ready for for a relationship. So if it comes along and it's right for me, I feel like God will place it in my life. I'm not pushing it. I'm not, you know, trying to make it happen tomorrow or anything like that. But yeah, that that's just my outlook on things in life at this present moment. So what I have to do today, I actually have my protein shake right here. And... I have a banana because as I stated before in my other video, if you guys haven't watched it, please go watch it. Um, like and comment on it, whatever. You know, go watch all my videos. You know, you just go watch them all. But I don't like eating breakfast in the morning. Like it's not that I don't like to do it, but I don't really don't have an appetite to eat or my stomach just doesn't feel well in the morning like I just don't want to eat it like I don't want to eat in the morning so I like kind of force myself to even eat fruit in the morning like I try to have fruit in the morning you know but 
it's even hard for me to do that. So I like drink my protein shake and I have a banana, some grapes, you know, things like that with it, you know. So by noon time, I'm hungry and I'm ready to eat. And that's mainly like my first meal of the day. So yeah, that's what I have. And today, it's not a really busy day. I do have my deliveries. And then what I'm going to do is I have to pick up some um, orders that I placed for Christmas for some people's Christmas gifts. So I have to pick those up. Um, one, I have to pick up from my office. The other, I have to pick up from Macy's. So yeah, I will be doing that. So just stick along. I know this was a pretty lengthy video, you guys, but I just felt like I had some things to get off my chest and like if I can help anybody you know if you want to even reach out to me and talk to me about your depression or whatever you're going through you can do that don't feel like okay because you guys don't know me or you know I'm not a big youtuber or whatever you may think or like you know look at me and be like oh yeah she's she's this type of person no I'm a very open person when it comes to other people like you know coming to me with their problem like I've that's always been me like with friends people that even strangers they'll come they'll come up to me and they'll like for some reason like they feel comfortable to tell me their problems and um i like if i haven't never been through it i can't give you any information on it i can just give you my point of view but if i've experienced it i will definitely give you some you know information on it or just things to helpful tips or things that you can do to better yourself like if you just want to talk about relationships if you want to talk about you know mental illness and what you're going through and you know your thoughts and you know things like that help things things to help you get through the day or whatever come to your girl because I definitely will love that you know you reaching out and I if I can help you in any type of way I will so I want to thank you guys for you know coming along with me and you know listening just listening to me if you're viewing this video you're listening to me I'm kind of venting to you guys you know and I don't do that so I am very appreciative of you guys even subscribing viewing my channel you know so just please comment like reach out to me if, if need be and this is it I'll just see you guys in the next video I love you my babies